Hello everyone, this is Marcy from Prints and Paints. Uh, welcome back to part two of this tutorial. We are doing a 22 inch MDF hardboard mandala circle. We have prepped it, we have put our uh, template circles down and in the first tutorial which you can find a link in the description is the stencil that we have done. Uh, just as a quick recap, we color the colors we have used was pearl white, metallic toned, we have metallic bronze, we have metallic copper, and then the softer shades we have the territorial beige. We have the khaki, sun-kissed peach, yellow okra, and we have barn red. Okay, so those are the colors that we will be continuing to use. You want to make sure that you have your stylus tools ready. So I'm going to be using these three stylus tools. I believe they would be considered one, two, and maybe three or four dot. And then also your white mandala stone uh, stylus as well. Okay, so our first step I would like to do is basically uh, encapsulate this into doing a row of dots surrounding it, just to keep it inside. Um, what I'm going to do is use the Sunkissed Peach and the size 9 dotting tool. I'm going to find where the circle has not too much overlap. So over here it goes all the way to the line. You could tell that some of these weren't lined up properly, but that's okay. We really wanna just find a spot where it's not overlapping. So it looks like it's gonna have to be this outer circle right here goes all the way around so right here we're gonna start right here uh, so number nine we're gonna dip and we're just going to dot just like that okay and we're going to go all the way around I think what we're going to do is a really small stylus, the number one, and we're gonna use the same color, sun-kissed peach. And at the inside of the circle, every dot right here, we're going to do a little dot. So we're gonna get just enough on here, and then we're gonna just do that, okay? Um, I think we're gonna just do the inside maybe, or we could do the outside. I think we'll just do the inside for now and see how that looks. Gonna go all the way around again. One little dot, just like that. So now that we've finished our sun-kissed peach cream color all the way around, we're going to move on to the copper red. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to use our number two stylist. 
So either this one, or you can use the number two in the dotting tool. Um, I find these make better swooshes, so uh, maybe it's just the ball tip to it, but I, I feel like they really do make a better swoosh than, than using these. Um, <clears throat> but you can still choo choose the others. What we're going to do is we're going to make these little. So I get enough on my stylus. Not so it's dripping off, but just enough to coat it. And I'm going to start at the, uh, not the not the one directly after it, but the second one. Usually I like to start at the line, one of the lines here to the pie shapes. And you're going to press down and pull all the way up until you reach the dot. The next one is actually going to be placed in between the dots, but at the top up here. So like that, and then you pull down, just like that. And we're gonna go next to it and pull up to go to the dot. And we're gonna continue this. This might take a while, so this is gonna continue all the way around. Types of swooshes. Okay, so give yourself a pat on the back because that one I know was a little difficult and very time consuming. Um, if you have uh, finished and um, you know you're, it should look very similar to this. It is uh, one of my most favorite designs, I think. It just has that wonderful um, design quality of it. Uh, so moving on, uh, we're going to do we're going to use yellow okra and I think what we're going to do is just to uh, tie these in and uh, almost frame them out. We're going to do a similar dot to this. Um, we're just going to do a smaller size. So if this was a size 9, let's go with a size Let's do size seven, okay? Size seven, mandala dot. And again, we're just going to go all the way around just like this one. Okay, so our next step, we're going to use the color metallic bronze, right here. And we are also going to use a couple different stylists. So we're going to start with eight and seven, and also six and five. And what we're going to do is, um, what I want you to first have mapped out, if you didn't already, is have an eight point star. An eight point star means that you're going to, um, you hopefully you did this beforehand. If not, it's okay. You can also just draw yourself a line from the end of the circle that we started. Uh, you wanna have a horizontal line 
from this point over and over here, and then you want to have a vertical line from the bottom down all the way up to the top, and then you want to make yourself an X, like so, okay? Uh, if your paint is still wet because you've been watching this video, uh, stop the video, let it dry for a while, and come back to it, and then start from here. Um, this way you have your points. Um, I only am um, recommending this is because we are going to start this small flower shape and I want to do them on every uh, point for this project and I want them to be lined up for you. Otherwise some might be too close to the others, okay? So we're going to start with our number eight stylist with the metallic bronze and we're going to dot on the next line on every pie shape every line that you have all right there should be eight total okay next now we're going to move on to the next just flip it over your number seven dotting tool Again, we are going to place the dot on the next line down from the number eight dot on all eight points, okay? Okay, once again, we're gonna get our number six stylist and repeat the same process. So we're gonna do number six now. Okay, now, and the last one is going to be your number five tip stylist, again, with the metallic bronze. And we're going to do our last dot right here, okay? Okay, now that you have your eight points and your metallic bronze, we're going to focus on the center. So we're focusing on the area between these two dots. Uh, you can try and measure it if you like, if you're very meticulous. I personally am just going to eyeball this. So I'm going to find the center, which looks like about here. I will probably draw a little tick mark with a pencil just so that I can get an idea of where the center is. And you're going to do that on all of them, all the way around. We're going to take our number four stylist. We're going to use the same metallic bronze and we're going to dot two dots in the same first line. So I'll do one to show you. At the top, start at the top, like that, and then do the other one. It might go over the line a tad bit, and that's okay, but you want it to look like that. Okay, now that you've finished with all of your dots in your point areas, we're going to move on to a new color. We're going to use the Bimbi Blue. This is the same blue that we used for that centerpiece. Uh, these are going to act as accent highlights to this particular uh, mandala design. We're not going to overuse this color. It's going to be just a pop color. So with saying that, this will be the center of our small petal flowers that we're going to be achieving right now. We're going to focus on these two small dots here, not so much the large ones. And we're going to use a number 10 stylist and we're just going to follow the path. Now, you don't necessarily have to focus on getting it in the next line because you're already over it right here. So just underneath the two dots and just try to stay uh, you know, parallel with your line. Make sure that you're using an imaginary line here if you didn't draw one out. And we're just going to do a number 10, like so, all the way around, okay? Okay, now that we finished our Bimney Blue, we're going to take our number 2 stylist, whether it's your white one or your 
yellow swirly one. We're going to go back to our metallic bronze and we're going to do one of those cascading uh, dots on around the bimbi blue. So we're going to start here like this and remember just taper off don't keep dipping in just like that and we're going to go on every single one Okay, so we finished the cascading dots. Our next color is going to be the sun-kissed peach again. And we're going to use our number five stylist. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to count down. So you're going to count the next line that was here. And you're going to count down one, two, Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So down to the sixth line. All right, because we want to have enough space between this part and this because we're going to do some swooshes. All right, so what we're going to do, see if I can show you this on camera. We're going to one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to take the stylus and we're going to dip a nice amount, get a nice coating on your stylus. And then we're going to line up so that we are right below the bigger dot from the cascading dots and on the six line. So center the dot dot it, okay? Now you might want to dot the dot a few times, lightly too, it's almost like you're just eye dropping some nice paint and it builds up from there. And then you're going to take a small stylus tool, so maybe the smallest one you have. I like to use my number one and you're gonna take it from the center and you're gonna push up from the center to the middle dot at the top. And then on the left side, you're going to push up towards the center. And then the right side, you're going to do the same thing and push up like that. And that is how you make a nice teardrop swoosh. Okay. We're going to dip it in again. This time we're going to go next to it. So instead of on the six line, we're going to go above it. So we're going to be in between five and six line that and that one. And we're going to give it yourself enough little space. To dot. You don't want to be too close to this one otherwise they're going to join. Okay and then from here you're going to start in the center and you're going to pull but you're going to go at an, a slight angle up to there up to the just past the first dot and then you're going to do again the left pull it in towards the center you're really just creating this teardrop shape. Okay. And I try not to get too much up here because I want it to look a tapered off. It doesn't want to be as thick as this part. It wants to be thinner up here. And just push your paint gently and lightly. You don't want to have a heavy hand on this until you get your nice little swoosh. Again, we're going to repeat this on the other side. Just like that. You have enough paint on there. And you're going to start at the center and swoosh around like you're doing almost like a C shape. 
could take you a few tries to try and get it pulled up. You really want to be pulling that glob of paint at the bottom and pull up. But just do gently, otherwise you'll start seeing some streaky marks. And then you can dot it to blend it in. Just like that. We're going to do a few more. So we're going to kind of fan this all the way up. All right. Um, <clears throat> our next one then. So I'll show you one and then we'll we'll do a time lapse of all of them. So the next one, you're going to repeat this process. So you're going to go up to the 6, 5 above the fifth line and in between the fourth. And you're going to go a little closer. So you don't want to come all the way out here. You want to come closer. So almost as if this one's going to be the longest and the widest. And as they go up, they start to taper in. All right. So even if you want to just do your dot placements for now, that's what I like to do so I can see it. And then you're going to pull up and go up to the next dot there like that. Okay. If they're not perfect, don't stress over it. Just keep going. Just like that. Perfect. You know, like even this one I just did is not perfect. It's not as thin as that one, and that's okay. You know, when you look at your overall picture of it, those things go unnoticed, so it's okay. All right, next one, we're going to do that again. So we're going to go above the fourth line now. Four and three. We're going to dot. Just like that. Now as you start to get more centered, you're going to notice that you're going to want to not start in the center and go up through the center. You're going to start at the center and swoop down as if you're doing the left part first, like that. And then you're going to join in. This really takes a lot of practice and that's all I can suggest is that you get a piece of paper and you start really um, doing these on paper or cardboard. This way you get an idea of how they are made. I'm not even perfect with them so I'm, you know. <clears throat> Just like that. Now even so you could see that this side over here is a little bit tighter than this side would like to be. I would probably like this to be a little bit more flared out. And that's probably because I started this one a little too close. I should have started a little out here. But you know what? That's what I'm saying. You learn from your mistakes and you learn how to do this. Um, I think we might stop here. Maybe we'll do one more because we want this to kind of be our centered. I think we'll do one more at the top up here. So we're gonna go dot gently right below the number one line and above the two. And we're gonna go in just like that. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. We're going to do that on every single one all the way around, all right?
Okay, now that we've finished our sushi uh, flower petal inside, um, we're going to move on to just one simple little step, and that is going to place a dot. We're going to use a number six dotting tool. We're going to place a dot right at the end of each of these center swooshes. We're going to use the metallic bronze again to repeat that color pattern. So we're just going to use number six and dot just like that and go all the way around. Okay, so we got our dots of bronze all the way around. Uh, what we're going to do now is something a little different. First, we're going to use a brush. So this brush it is a size zero. It is an artist brush. And if you could tell, the tip is extremely thin but very long. Okay. Um, we're going to use this to create our petal on the exterior parts of these um, swooshy insides of the petal. Um, I can leave a link in the description of where I purchased these online if you want to use this. Um, I just recommend finding something that's a little bit long in the sense like this. Um, it helps create the, the nice uh, continuous stroke. The two colors we're going to use for this effect is going to be Territorial Beige and Khaki combined together. This is going to be first because we have a lighter color cream here, so we want to uh, add some contrast to that by adding the darker tone, and then this will be on the outside. Okay, so for this technique, we're going to do the Territorial Beige. We're going to dip our brush and kind of spin it around inside the paint. Okay, pull it off. We don't want a huge glop on there. Just enough that's going to coat it. I like to spin it, and as I do that, I pull away from the cap so that you have a nice. So now what you're going to do, you're going to start at one of the corners like so. You're going to start up here, not so much down here, unless you want a different effect. Um, and you're going to put light pressure down as if you're creating that big part of the dotting and gently start to pull as you come down and then you're gonna taper off lightly like that. Alright, if you don't get it perfect it's okay. Go back through it and try to rework it. So do the same on the other side. We're going to do these to all of them. And then when we're done, we're going to go back through it. So again, light pressure to create that nice thick top to it. And then as we come around, steady hand, and we're going to taper like that. All right. And now we've created this cute little petal. It looks like a flower. And then we're going to do the outside khaki. I'm going to go ahead and finish these up. Okay, now that we've done our territorial beige, we're going to move on to our khaki color. And we're basically going to do the same technique. We're going to do the outer perimeter of that. So we're going to place down light pressure and drag the brush all the way down and then taper off. As you taper off, you lift the brush up. You might have to do these one, two coatings, I'd say, two coatings. And from here, we're just going to do the rest of them all the way around. So now that we've got our flower petal shape forming, we can focus on doing the um, 
the section with the dots, the bronze dots. Um, this we're going to do swooshes too, but they're going to be a little bit larger in scale. So we're going to count down probably from the last dot you have. So one, two, three, four, five. I think we're going to go down the fifth line. This way it's even with um, your the tip of this. So we're staying within this region all the way around. Okay, so the fifth line down. We're going to use dotting tool number 10, and we're going to use the metallic pearl, the white, okay? So one, two, three, five. And we're just gonna dot in the center. Now this is gonna go over your line, remember that. Um, let me see if I can move really so you can see it. It's gonna go over the line a bit. It's gonna fit right inside, but kind of stick out a bit. And then what we're going to do is take our stylist, anything you want, and we're going to push that. We're going to keep pushing it until it goes all the way up to the dot, to this, to this dot. If you want, since it's resting on a line, follow the line, okay? And then just like pull up the sides, pull up the left side. It's going to look like a really long um, like teardrop. If you need to dot some more paint on it, please do so. And then so we're going to do this on every single one all the way around. Okay, so the next color that we're going to do now that we've finished our swoosh with the pearl white, we're going to do copper red. We're going to use the number 10 stylist again, and we're going to place them on either side of the white. So we're going to go to the, the next line up from where you placed it. So it would be line number four. So you're going to place like this, dot it in the center so it's centered, and then you're going to push up like so, up to the center of that one and move all the way around. Okay, so now that we've finished the metallic copper, we're going to move on to the barn red color. And we're also going to again, once again, use the number 10 stylist. With this, we're going to just move up one more step of the line. So we're going to use the third line. We're going to go above the third line. So this was the fifth, this is the fourth, the third. We're gonna kinda go right in this little area right here. Okay, and again, we're just gonna dot. Get enough on your dot to be able to pull the paint up. Okay, like that. And then you're gonna pull it up to make your swoosh. Go all the way around again with barn red. Okay, so our barn red is all finished and we're gonna do one more last color and we're gonna go back with our copper again. Uh, and then we're going to do our last swoosh. So there'll be three on either side. Again with number 10. And then we're just gonna do the next line up. So it should, you should be able with this one to 
dot in the actual center of the line, like so. Just like that one too. Okay, and then you're gonna just center it out and then push up towards. You want to aim to go towards the bottom dot here. That's where all everything's pointing towards. That's the center dot there. Okay, so again we'll even out the dot with the paint and then draw ourselves to there with the stylus. Push the paint forward. Just like that. And there we go, we have our three with the white center. We're gonna do this one more time all the way around. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is yellow okra and we're going to do the number nine stylist. And we're going to do the same dots that we did in this perimeter right here, right past the, the white. The next color we're going to do is the Bimbi Blue again, it's that turquoise color and we're going to use the stylus number 8. What we're going to do is just follow the pattern of the yellow okra that we just did and you're going to place the dots in between each yellow like that and go all the way around. Okay, so we did our blue all the way around. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our stylus tool. I'm doing the number two stylus. But you can also use this number two on this one. And we're gonna go with the metallic bronze. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start overlapping some colors. So with these, the inside petals of the leaf, we're going to do a second coating. So we're gonna dip a nice amount of paint into this and we're gonna dot in the center and then pull up to the center like that. Try to keep your hands steady so that you get nice straight lines. And then, so we're gonna do that for all of them, okay? Okay, so now that we've added the bronze to the center of these, it gives it a nice, um, a bit of a depth to it, which looks really good. Um, <clears throat> we'll do that with a few more things on here. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, I'm going to overlay, overlay uh, I think these dots, or maybe these two, and we're going to do this with the stylus number two, and we're going to do it with the metallic pearl. So, just like this, we're gonna, we're gonna dot lightly, 
just like that, just the two. Okay, next, now, once you finish those dots, you can stick with the same dotting tool and the same color. And what we're going to do is dot in between each blue dot. Okay, so we're going to take it and dip it in, and do it in the center of each one, just like that. It's going to look like a string of pearls, hopefully, when it's done. It'll tie it nicely together. Okay, so now that we've finished these white dots along here, we're going to um, do smaller scales of the small leaf patterns, and we're going to start them on every, um, every one of these all the way around, and then we're going to come back and probably do these as well. Okay, so, so for our next color, we're going to do our territorial color. beige again, Instead of doing this and we're going to actually use a nice size like um, step up. Okay. It's a number 18, so it's rather large, and we're going to make our center dots. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the, the swooshy ones first, and then go back and do the leaf ones. So, for example, there should be these lines here that if you did draw them, and you're going to do one here, like so. Just like that. It's hard to see. And then we'll do one right here. Okay. And then you'll want to fill them in with a stylus as well, because they're going to be really large dots now. Just like that. The next color, we're going to stick with the territorial beige for this first one, okay? And we're going to use a um, number two stylist with the territorial beige. And we're going to do a quick cascade with the same color to start with. So remember, the cascades are like this, okay? Um, we're starting with something small and we're going to work our way up in size. Okay, so. The first one, make sure you get enough paint. And here we go. The first one will be the number two dotting tool. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to work ourselves all the way around to do the same exact thing. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we've finished our territorial beige with the cascading dots, we're going to move up and we're going we're gonna to skip each uh, size dotting tool. So if we did a number two, now we're going to do a number four. And we're going to use our sun-kissed peach. And so once again, we're going to start. We're just going to do one dot of the four. And then what I like to do is flip it around and do three. So it's a step smaller and then I cascade with the number three. Okay. You can do four and just leave it at that, but I like the, um, the uniform look that it creates and with number four you might have really big dots at the end because of the size so that's what I'm going to suggest so we're going to stick with four and three 
with this one. So I'll do one, one more time just to show you. We'll do four for the first dot, just like that, and then flip it around, and then cascade down with your number three. Okay, and we're going to do this for each one. All right, so we finished our sunkissed peach. The next color we're going to do is the khaki color, and we're going to need our number five styling tool. Actually, we're going to do, uh, yeah, we're going to do five. Maybe, no, let's do six. We'll keep going up. So six, five, and then you're going to skip four. Let's see. <laughs> I think I'm confusing myself here. Let's do six dot, yes, number six. You're gonna flip it over, do one on either side, five. Okay, let's do that first and go all the way around. This way we have this only in our hand and we're not switching back and forth. So let's do six and two fives on either side first. Okay, perfect. So we got our five and six is done. Okay, you can put that aside. Um, remember, I, I also want to show you a trick is like when you're doing these first two, three ones, um, make sure it looks like Mickey ears. If you notice, it looks like Mickey Mouse with the Mickey ears. Um, that helps uh, you process and think about like the design of how it's supposed to be looking as you're building it. Um, the next one we'll do then is the three and four stylist. Same color. So we'll do four on either side and then cascade with three. So I'll do one right now and then we'll speed it up. So we'll do one here. And you're just going to want to follow that curvature all the way down, okay? All right, you start to form that V shape. It's a very wide V, but you start to form the, formulate that and then flip it around and then cascade down with three just like that and just go until you can't anymore okay you don't want to go on the blue dots you just want to go to the blue dots don't try to make it all the way curved around to the center either you're going to want to end at that wide V shape okay so let's do the rest of them All right, we're getting there. This is our last color. It's going to be the barn red. And we're going to use the number eight and seven stylist. And just like with the next, the, the previous one, we're gonna work our way down. So the next one after that would be the five, six, and then three fours, if it fits. Um, let's try the eight. First, if the eight is rather large, um, we're gonna skip seven and go right to six. So this is eight. Okay, I think with eight, we're gonna go the next one down, we're gonna go six and then five. So we're skipping seven. This is really just a preference because you really wanna, you know, have a nice <clears throat> cohesive size dots too. So eight will be the first one. Skip over seven and go to six. We'll do six to make the mouse ears, right? And then we're gonna flip it over and do five. Yeah. 
is we want to have enough space to have that tapered look. So if we start at a really big number and if we don't have much room, then you are going to have big dots and then it's not going to look uniform like the rest of them. So if that is the case, then yeah, do a big dot in the center, but you know, skip over a size, just like how I did. So remember, eight, six, five, all right? I'm gonna clean off my dotting tool real quick. And then we're gonna go to four and three. So we'll do four here and here. And then three should be about the middle of the cascading, which is perfect. So three and then cascade down. See, and it's still rather large, but at least they're smaller as you taper down. See, perfect. And that's going to be the last color there for this part of it, okay? So let's do the whole thing. Okay, good. So we finished our cascading dots and we made our small little, uh, it's like a leaf design. What we're going to do is the same concept we did with these, how we, um, you know, bordered them with this pattern, this with the brush. So we're going to take our small uh, number zero brush and we're going to use the metallic pearl. Um, <clears throat> on every single one. You just want to get enough on there. And then again with these you're going to push light pressure and then swoop down and out. Okay? going to do that on either side if you need to go over it again which you probably will can do so I usually wait till they dry and then I do it again and then the other side you want to do the same thing okay just like that and we're going to do that to all of them all the way around. Okay, wonderful. So now that we've got our petals, uh, we might do one more color, but we're going to move on to something different first. So in between these, we have a nice significant amount of negative space. So we want to fill that in with something. What I'm thinking we're going to use is a number 18 dotting tool again, the same size we made these circles. And we're going to use copper red and we're going to count down the third line. That seems to be relevant to the center portion of these, okay? And on that line, we're going to dot right in the center, so try to eyeball it, the number 18 with copper red. I'll show you the design we're going to do eventually as we get into it. So the third line, and we're gonna eyeball the center and just dot the, the Put the dot in the center of the number three line, just like that. Let's swish this around so it's all nice and even. And we're going to do that all the way around. And then when we come back through, we're going to use a different color maybe. And we're going to do these two little swooshes, I think, on the outside of it. Um, it'll give it a nice design and it'll match the swooshes that we have throughout these pattern.
Okay, great. So now that we've made our circles, we're going to do our swooshes on either side. We're going to only do two of them. So the swooshes this time, they're going to be a little different. So we're going to take a number three stylist and our copper red. We're going to continue that color. You're going to get enough on your stylist to dot it. Okay. You're going to start at the bottom line where this is resting. So this would be line number four. Okay. Right down on the corner here. And you're going to dot and then you're going to pull upwards and curve around. So you're going to follow the curvature of the dot you just made. All right. And then the next one you're going to do right next to it, same thing, and follow the curve just like that. And then on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to curve around. So see, normally I would do three of them, but I'm going to do two just for the purpose of the, the spacing I have. Okay, so just like that, you're going to do two. And then we're going to do this all the way around to each dot. All right. Okay, so now that we finished our metallic copper and we did this design, we are basically just going to uh, do a few overlapping dots on some certain areas just to give it a little bit of some depth. So uh, the first one we're going to do is probably do another dot on top of this territorial beige. Uh, like I said, just to give it some depth. So we're going to go with the metallic pearl and we're gonna go with the number 12 stylist. So basically we're just going to uh, try to eyeball the center of your dot the best you can. And you're gonna just dot, that's my cat, <laughs> just like that. And we're going to do that all the way around. And then we'll come back and we'll do a few more. And then we're pretty much finished with this tutorial. Great. So now that we've finished the metallic pearl on this center dot here, we're going to focus on this also center dot for the metallic copper. And we're going to pair it with our Bimini blue. Uh, the same stylus you used, just flip it over and use your size 11. And we're going to do the same concept. So we're going to dot down the center, just like that. And then we're going to do this color on every single one all the way around. Okay, so this completes your tutorial for this lo lotus flower stencil. Uh, I enjoyed doing this one. If you feel like you would like to add a few more things to this, by all means, please do so. Be creative. Um, I know that there are some negative spaces, so if you're not fond of that, you can add your own flair to it. Um, for now, this is going to complete my session for this painting. Um, I enjoyed doing this one. I hope you all did too. And um, let's go look and see what the completed version looks like. Happy dotting. Till next time.